Um, the other day when I had the um, Bishop Sewing System hand crank on the 237 from Michigan, I noticed that the zigzag was different. The built-in zigzag was different between the motor and the hand crank. And uh, of course that bugged me. Um, and the that 237 needs a new belt. There was a crack in the belt, and that's why it wouldn't start correctly the other day. But this is the 237 from Vermont. And so what I'm doing is um, I'm going to fiddle with the zigzag a little between the motor and the hand crank and see if there actually is a difference. So um, you always want your needle in the highest position before you go from straight stitch to zigzag. I'm going to pick the fourth, um, one, third largest zigzag stitch, and I've got the needle in the center. And I've got, I'm at about 10 stitches per inch. So, and this is denim white cotton thread. Now, I've got the hand crank on the machine, and I have the machine plugged in um, as well. So this is the same way I had this installed on the other 237 the other day. Okay, so there is just your basic wide zigzag. I'm going to unfold the hand crank. and use the hand crank instead of the motor. Now, on those stitches, I don't see a difference. Where I ran into seeing a difference was when I wanted to do a satin stitch. And this is a single layer of denim, but that is exactly what you might be doing a satin stitch on if you were decorating jeans or something like that. So, to do a satin stitch, you have to move the stitch length um, lever into the area called fine, F-I-N-E. And what happens, I think, with both a built-in zigzagger and um, a hand crank is you have to make sure that the stitches don't bunch up under the presser foot. So I have released a little bit of the pressure on the presser foot on the knob on the top. So let's just do whoops, a little satin stitch by machine, I mean by motor. And now I'm going to find out this belt needs, uh, this needs a new belt too. Now, again, I had to tighten the clutch wheel just a bit, and that had happened on the Spartan. So that's by um, motor, and it's a closer satin stitch, it's not bunching up, it's going through fine. Um, I took my foot off the foot pedal, and I am now doing it by hand crank. And when I do this, it looks to me as if the hand crank is having it um, stitch as a slightly finer satin stitch, but I could be wrong. And the other day when I was doing this, that if it does pull it together a little bit more for some reason, then um, that is why it was getting um, kind of piled up on the, on the fabric and a little bit stuck under the presser foot. There is just a very slight difference in, um, not really that noticeable though, about this much from my finger to the left is by machine, by motor, and this is hand cranked. Not really enough to complain about. So whatever glitch I was having the other day was a glitch from the other day. Um, and this machine did not get dropped. 
that might have something to do with it. Um, it might have just been the way I was doing things the other day. I'm going to go down to a smaller zigzag stitch, which would be a very tight tiny little satin stitch and it's working fine. That's with the hand crank. Yeah. Both of my 237s need new belts. So Again, almost no difference at all. So, um, the 237 with the Bishop Sewing Systems hand crank, um, I have to check my the belts on the motor to make sure they're tight enough, and um, I may, on this machine, have to tighten the clutch wheel a little bit before I switch from hand crank to motor. But the stitches are almost identical. And this is the Singer 237 from Vermont.